I'm getting pulled over. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, it's from the yard. Do I do have to play the call? some money to spend, there's a bunch of hidden costs I did not account for, and we have renovations to do. In the meantime, you wonder why I wanted a yard? We've got it. That's the cop right. Car is back. The cop, the cop car, car is back. back. By the way, I did sell it. Nico paid me for it, but he said, hey, can you leave it there? Use it when you want to use it. But I'm there, I'll use it. So we get it for free. We're good to go. You haven't <laughs> actually run from the cops in a long time, huh? Nope. It's been a minute. It's been, it's been a while. So I was doing loops. <laughs> hey guys, I have to thank today's sponsor, Rock Form. This building costs a bunch of money. In order to make videos like this for you guys, we have amazing sponsors like Rock Form to help. Now, this case not only looks sexy, it also protects your phone. Watch this. No big deal. Not a scratch on it. Literally throwing my phone for absolute years. You guys use them. What are your yeah. thoughts? They're awesome. I mean, I've broken phones before. After we got a rock form case, no issues. And they're magnetic. Go. Oh, it's a habit. Right here we have like $5,000 worth of iPhones to protect it thanks to rock form. Also, the magnetic function's really handy. Taking really good selfies, doing a FaceTime, taking a really cool photo, especially of your car in front of the new DDE HQ. Currently on the block right now and all these phones are protected. See? Look at magnet. By the way, this is Nico's car now. They're on there. Hey, Nico, nice car, man. Oh, you can do a donut with them on. Oh. oh! All right, the rock form test. Boys, ready for this? Are you nervous? No, I, I got trust in rock form. Dave, you want to close that door for me? Oh, Never the mind. door? Yeah. magnet is strong enough to hold onto the door, but it will not erase the information on your credit card. They're under 50 bucks, and you get a massive 25% discount site-wide on anything at rock form. Literally five years now smashing my phone, never an issue. The ultimate test. Dude, that's a solid throw. <laughs> <laughs> check it out. It's good. All right, guys, the proof is in the pudding. There's the pudding right there. It survived the cop car. It survived DDE now for over five years. And because we love you guys, 25% off site-wide. That's DDE 2023. Link in description. Back to the vlog. <laughs> By the way, a lot of you guys in the comments were like, Dave can't drive. Dave crashes into fences. That was like one. <laughs> with the fab shop, the most important part of the shop. That's where we make the cars to make the money. And we're in the fab shop. Are we up and running, Tim? No, not even close. What's the problem? These things need to be plugged in. Everything's different. That won't plug into the wall? No. Nope. Yeah, we gotta change outlets and uh, maybe phases, because I don't know, I think this is what, three phase? I think so. And that's like a two phase? They call me two faced? Two faced. Okay, yeah. so electrician. The last bill was 20 grand in the shop. Yeah. For four months worth of usage. Electrician, just call it 20 grand for what we need, based on last time's cost. This place is bigger too, so. 25, 20, yeah. 25 grand, electrician. So we have the uh, plasma to get plugged in from our friends at Jackman, who hooked us up, by the way, for a massive discount, thanks to them. Then what else do we have over here? This stuff's cool, because you don't plug it in. Exactly. The finger brake, is ready to go. And by the way, a lot of you guys pointed out the faces on it. It has faces. It does have faces. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, that one's sad. We're surprised. <laughs> it's only three faces. We got the bandsaw and we've got the mill. So those both need to get plugged in. And the outlets here, again. So we got another four prong with a three pronger. Okay, so fab room, <laughs> not happening today. We're gonna get done this week. Tire shop, this is the DDE tire shop. We have our own full service tire center just for our cars, no customers allowed. So don't come here trying to get your tires changed. Tons of tires for our boys at XComp and other brands. There's Mark over here. That one just plugs in, right? No, it's that's wrong. a three prong, that's a four prong. Fudge. Six. 
Yeah, so it's literally like every single outlet is wrong. How long will it take an electrician to do all this? I have no idea. So if the wiring that's in the box is correct, then they change the plug. Right. That's easy. Yeah. But if the wiring that's in the box isn't correct, then they have to run new wires over here because it, maybe it's not like- Oh wow, that would suck. Yeah, big enough gauge wire or not the right phase and they have to bring the conduit from wherever the main power comes in all the way through the building, all the way over here, which is in the back corner of the shop. 30,000 square foot square, it's about what? How many? 3,000 feet yeah. of conduit, easy. That's cheap. That's cheap. Uh, Dollar do 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 a foot? Not for copper. A few bucks a foot plus the plus the tube and Oh, so it could potentially cost like sixty, seventy thousand dollars to get electrical done. Hey blood you wanna sell? How much you wanna give me? I got some semen. No trade? Straight up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, and the actual build room's been decided as this area here, which is a massive open shop, but there's a problem. There's actually a lot of problems in here. Number one electrical, we established that already. We don't have lifts yet. Now, Ben Pack, our homies, the CEO reached out to me personally. Like, Dave, I'm a huge fan. In fact, my entire career has been replicated based on your decisions, minus the divorces. But jokes aside, he said, uh, yeah, whatever you need, we got you. Depending on how many two post lifts we get, we can do three two post lifts over there. They're already wired. It is wired over here also, so we can drop in two more two yeah. post lifts if we want to have that many. And then we can have this corner right here for whatever car we're actively working on, doing all the fab work. So it's close to the fab shop over so the, here. So the F12 you would build right here? Either over here or over here and have two bays for what we're working on actively. But then if we do that, then we won't want two more two post lists. It's gonna take up too much space, so. Sean one. Another issue is, this is actually pretty funny. All we have for a tool case or toolbox is this dinky little snap-on cabinet that I bought for the old shop. That's it. It was kind of an issue at the old shop when we had 7,000 square feet, but it is a serious issue now that we have 30,000 square feet. This toolbox over here, if you're working on a car that's over there and you're going back and forth for tools, plus we have more people working here now, so we only have one set of tools, basically one person. The obvious question is, the cost of tools is, I know it's astronomical. Quality how much could we, system. how much right now, if we had to go buy retail everything, do you think we need to budget for tools for the new location? I mean, I'd say easy, 50 grand a box. A box? Yeah, for a box and the tools inside the box. How yeah. many boxes do we need? Probably three. I mean, if you say how many do we need, probably three. How okay. Many, how many would be nice to have? <laughs> so call it $150,000 in tools. Now, that being said, we are a media company. We bring us lots of eyeballs. If you are watching right now and you work for a big tool company, Snap-on or other examples of that that I'm not familiar with because I'm not- Mac-o, Mac. I don't know what I'm talking yeah. about. Uh, hit us up because we would love to promote your tools in our videos and save us like $150,000 because that's a lot. That's a spicy meatball. That's Damon's lunch. Mad Max caviar. He doesn't eat it. He wants to stick. Anyway, it's a long whole thing. What else do we need in here to build the dream garage? Like the dream Oh fabric. man, don't get me started. The dream. And also sexy oh, on camera. Man. <laughs> epoxy floors. So, all right. You want to do epoxy floors? Epoxy floors, that's awesome because it's easy to see like you drop a bolt, a screw, whatever, a tool. It's easy to spot. On this floor, it is hard to see when you drop a little bolt or a nut or something like that. That whole wall over there, we could do those big like Lista style cabinets or there's, there's other companies that make like really cool workshop cabinets. That could be that whole wall over there with oil, fluids, like all that kind of stuff and big workbenches, so lighting, right? So you can see everything. This whole corner, obviously if we put another lift here, we'll be a little bit tight, but there's room for more benches probably all the way around depending on how far out we put the lift. So if we can have a workbench that basically goes the entire length over there Holy. Um, with a little space in between for toolboxes. So that way when you pull parts off a car, they go next to the car on the shelf. Nothing's getting mixed up. There's nothing getting lost. Where's your glasses? I can't see. But what? I don't want. I don't want to lose anything. Did you lose your glasses? No, I have my sunglasses on. They're oh, prescription. The audience gets freaked out when you don't wear your glasses. <laughs> I'm trying not to wear my my uh, glasses inside. Why? I don't want to look like Garrett. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you're also not a drug dealer, so you have that going for you. Well, I want to make this like the ultimate, the ultimate garage. Not only for you guys, but also for the audience to see what's possible. I need to figure out like where do we put the money we have right now? What's the most critical thing? So I also want to do something really special for you guys here that we've never done before. I'll get to that in a minute. I got you. By the way, it's January 30th today. This video is filmed the day before you guys see it. Crazy, Happy right? Birthday, Damon. Yeah, actually, right now it's Damon's birthday. You're right. January oh, 30th. Yeah. Every I was day. just in Vegas for the weekend, which is why I'm so cloudy right now and I'm dying because all we did was drink, you know, water and eat healthy. So I'm just <laughs> like so <laughs> feeling proper. Very, very hydrated. Uh, it's hot here. It's the 29th today. It is, I'm wearing this crew right now because of branding, but it's freaking hot. The summer here is going to be brutal. We're going to have to get AC and swampers and stuff put in. Definitely. The budget like for that. Swamp cooler. How much is a swamp yeah. cooler? I think they're like three to five grand each. We need a lot of them. And we need a couple in each room because the rooms are so big. 
More money. Okay. And then you mentioned we have some work to do out here in the lot, block. a lot of work to do out here on the block. I mean, the, these giant potholes everywhere, like like that. That's bad. That That's bad, but that's not even that bad. Uh, like the ones that are over here are really bad, and they're right in the middle. Oh, whoa. Yeah, well, that was a cop car. That was a cop car. <laughs> cop car doesn't care. <laughs> What's that? That's metal. There used to be a oh, post dang. of some sort. Yeah, Was there a fence here? Dude, that needs to get filled in for sure. That's bad for a tire, obviously. Yeah, that's that's not good. We've got more over here, that big step up over there. And then depending on how much of this area we want to use, I'd like to use all of it, because that just means more speed and more craziness. So if we can get all this kind of leveled out here. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Plates just in the ground. Damn. Yeah. That'll take a car out. Oh, this here this too. This guy coming over it sideways. That'll, More metal. That'll, uh, yeah. Oh, I never even noticed that before. I'm 100% sure very soon somebody's going to go through a <clears throat> Mark. <laughs> Tim said it, not me. You guys actually had to ask, why hasn't Mark driven yet? Mark only has the front wheel drive Civic Type R. He tried doing some reverse donuts the first day we were here, almost put it in the fence. And not to bust his balls too much about it, but we'll get Mark some practice with a mic in a car that's rear wheel drive, front engine to learn. So we're gonna figure out a practice car or something for Mark. Mark's looking some at lessons. cars right now. Oh, is he really? Yeah. What yeah. you're looking at, Corvettes? Yeah, he's a Corvette guy, by the way. <laughs> he's, C he's C7 a Corvette big, guy, yeah. Pretty big vet guy. So we're come on that. There's a reason why. It's to protect Mark, make sure he's safe, but also the fence. Yeah, but yeah, protect the fence because that's going to cost a lot of money to fix and that's going to make the neighbors really upset and we don't want to burn the spot, right? We need concrete barriers all the way around here. They had containers all the way around. Containers are like eight feet wide. Yeah, yeah, you lost a lot of real estate. Lost it looked lot. cool, but yeah, no. Yeah, but also I feel like we have all of this prime real estate here for signage. Yep. Having that space just filled up for all the stuff that we do back here, yep. events, all that stuff, that's like, that's primo. Yep. So no need for containers. Concrete barriers like K-rails all the way around here and that'll protect the fences and then maybe you know get people to drive within their limits hopefully and I'm sure somebody's gonna wreck a car could be me could be Sean could be Mark could be any of us honestly because we're getting pretty crazy over here so we should get those pretty soon and Mike had a good point this is a business in order to help fund it we will sell advertising space on the walls behind rock firms our first one to be a big rock firm sign up there so if your company wants to get a little bit of marketing action big YouTube channel big celebrities it's business at daily driven exotics.com it's the biggest challenge here is this area here you guys like as you can tell water pools there's a drain here it's pretty clear that drain is clogged whenever there's a bit of rain this turns into a river or a lake i yeah. think that is literally sewer water that's getting backed up really so remember when we were talking to the uh, guys about leasing this place and they were like oh yeah there's something like a uh, sewage that has to get fixed over there yeah i think smell that oh it smells like poop <sighs> yeah so I think this is backing up the sewer and this, like they're trying to drain through the same place. Oh. I think, and it's it's plugged up, literally. Yeah, you guys, you can't smell it obviously because we don't smell vision yet, but it smells like poo poo. And I was told that this one over here, no, over here, this is gonna come and block off this section eventually. Put a fence down there to act as if from here replace that sewer there. But nothing about that one there. So maybe that's clogged, that's the source problem. Maybe. Regardless, it's not our problem, but it is our problem. Just not financially, thank God. Because that would be a hundreds of hundreds of thousand dollar dealio. So, Mike, how do we do this? Right now we have this huge drop off. And if you're in anything, even the minivan bottoms out. Can we fix that so you can drive a car down here? I don't know what the best way, obviously you could raise that grade up and build something that drops it down, right? If it's a metal tube or something, just raise it up and fill it in with asphalt. Yep. But it is where everything funnels down to. You can't make it as high or level with the rest of the ground because then the water won't drain through there. So it has to be down. Probably could be less of an angle because that's pretty steep there. Yeah. But I don't do that Gosh, kind of work. Over here. It, it's really Oh my God, I was dying right now. Yeah. So, but we could also design it, like remove this post, see with this concrete so that part of the track comes and you go this side of it and just incorporate that into the, the grid design. By the way, yes, I said grid design. Stay tuned for that. We're not parking cars back here. Yep. We got a lot, like, look at the size of this parking lot. All that, all that, and the other side. Lots of space. Could you imagine what you could do with all that space? I have already imagined, Dave. I have, uh, I have images in my head of lots of cool stuff back here. All right, so we've covered off the industrial side of the shop. Now we have the pretty side. Now we have office space, meeting rooms, and more importantly, a retail space. That's right, DDE will soon have a store that you can come to and buy merch, hang out, maybe a coffee shop, maybe a donut shop. Maybe I'm saying too much. Giving away all the secrets. Maybe I'm saying too much or too little. What room is this gonna be? I, I feel like this is the exotics only room. 
right? This is where all the nice exotics that Did you just back out when you said that? <laughs> exotics only, get out of here. You guys actually, <laughs> to be fair, you guys are both pretty exotic, so you can come in. <laughs> we honestly have not planned each space yet. We know some areas, but like this area here will be predominantly car storage. To what cars, we're not sure yet. We also don't want to fill the space, make it all cluttered. So having the available area to do things in here, put some cars, have some cars not in here. It looks cool right now. I mean, we've got some pretty iconic vehicles, starting with Damon's 2003 gated Murcielago with that wild Bugatti blue Blue interior, the Nardo and other tech wrap on the outside. Recently upgraded flame tune from Alex. It shoots flames now. I haven't seen that yet, but uh, you gotta watch the vlog that I went out this morning. The vlog that went up this morning, but I was too busy moving. And we have the actual Super Chevelle Evo 2 race car in that beautiful Anoza Tech pink that Damon developed, which you can buy right now by going to their website. There's a link in the description, as well as Anoza Tech using the same film. We have Damon's disgustingly beautiful 2019 McLaren Senna exposed carbon, now protected. Thanks to our friends at PFS. Quite the lineup. Now very soon. In fact, I think today the exhaust arrived for this car at PFS. Oh yeah? We weren't sure where our ad was going to be, so we had everything shipped to PFS. I apologize to the boys at PFS for being our male whores. But we have new exhaust for this, and then Damon's planning a tune and some other surprises, including those wheels, which you guys saw in yesterday's video. I love them. My, my, my favorite wheels by far. So, available soon. Now, the one car I haven't even thought about yet is my McLaren 570S GT4 car that Damon bought me. I haven't touched it. Actually, I haven't even driven it yet, which I know I look like a and you're right. I need to get Mike on the track with me for some lessons. The challenge is time, you guys. Like, we've got so much on the go right now. Also, I don't live here. When we're not filming, I'm back home in Canada with my fiance and my kids. So a track day needs to be part of the YouTube channel just based on time. And with the building and the changes of it being Christmas, it hasn't happened yet. I really want Mike to show me how to drive this car. But before we do that, the car needs to look like a DDE car. Because right now, it just looks like a stock. And it's cool orange, but... It's cool. It's McLaren. But, you know... But it's not branded. It's not branded. It's also slow. As far as power goes, it's not crazy, right? But it's fast on the track. It's a quick car. But when we open it up yeah. and tune it. Well, it's got less power than a factory 570. Yeah, by like 150. So we want to make sure, even if it's stock 570, so what I will do is design a livery with Damon's help, because my god, my brain does not work that way. Uh, I'll do a solid I did chrome gold in the Lamborghini. That was all this, but actual livery goes. It's a Damon problem. But what we will do is we'll do an exhaust. So I'll hit up my friends at FI probably and get an exhaust for it. Maybe a, a top exit if they'll do that. I'm not sure if they do on this car. They did on the 12C. Exhaust, tune, livery, and that'll be it for that. Because it's a race car. It's a race car. It's ready to go. We Whoa, look. JD's up, man? back. Yeah, see what oh, we can do here. JD was a gentleman who did the floors in the old <laughs> editor's office back at the old HQ. That were $3,000 that are now gone and useless to me. Okay, so this room here, as you guys probably already know, we mentioned in the past, will be a retail store for you guys to come buy merch and more. So I need a contractor to come in here take a massive loss on his income for the year. That's great, that's a good idea. By, doing this, by doing this room, yeah, <laughs> yeah, to tax It'll come off. out of your salary. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> your salary, man. So design it however you want and they will pay for so it. So here's the thing, I have no creative ability whatsoever. Well, we do. But I have an and idea. And we can build whatever you want. I have an idea. What if, when you walked in here, it looked like you're at a gas station, the outside of a gas station. DDE is known for being at gas stations all the time. You walk in, we had a pump in the middle, the little, like, the little top thing, the overhang. Like a roof. Yeah, like a roof. And the car's at pumps, and then there'll be a convenience store over here you walk into to buy a Celsius or a snack and things like that. A little thing like that. Got it, we can do it. What do you guys think of that idea? And then we implement a lot of lighting, so it looks good, yeah? That's just an idea. I don't know, it just came to me. I had some bad ideas at night. We were tossing back and forth was uh, making it look like a racetrack. You do like a kind of asphalt looking stripe through it and curves like red and white rumble strips with some like fake grass. Oh, I like on that. On the sides. And then on the grass is the merch. Oh, I like that. And then a car could be like in the middle of the track, like at the apex. Yeah, exactly. With the doors up. Yep. As we yeah. do. You hard parked at the doors. <laughs> so we have the racetrack, we have a gas station. Any other ideas you guys have for a merch store? Make it look like the moon. The moon? <laughs> <laughs> Tim, I hope you enjoyed your last day here at DDE. Or we could just go traditional and modern make it to a store. But the idea is this. It won't just be a place to come spend your money. A place to experience DDE. See some of the culture and the history with some things on the walls from our past, our present, possibly our future. A really interactive experience for you guys when you come to Compton. I want to be a destination where everyone feels welcome. And the other room over here will have cars on display with no stanchions. You can go and look at, sit in the cars and experience them. So it'll be both rooms. 
but this room being the actual retail component. Okay, so give me, give me an idea off, off the record, not recording. To do something crazy in here, how much money ballpark do you think we have to spend? It just depends on what you want. But give me an idea, man. <laughs> a dollar being the lowest, a million being the highest. Or if you were me, right, and you're 40, balding, what? Send you to Turkey, get some. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, what would you do in here? I don't know. I would, I, I would kind of keep it like the car vibe. I mean, something like what he said is kind of cool, you know? But I mean, you also want to see stuff on the walls, right? Because when you go places, I mean, if not, if not it's going to look short. You can extend the, the, the building by putting stuff higher up on the walls. I mean, I don't know how much clothes you want to put in here, but or like merch. Everything. We have a few brands. And because race car, why else would be DDE? And also, a fourth new thing we're doing with a, a collaboration that's a big deal that even they don't know about yet. So there'll be a section for that. But basically, to house all the brands that are DDE, including sponsors. Maybe get a rock form case here. Maybe pick up an energy drink, food, whatever we get our hands into next. But basically, yeah, it needs to be accessible. But I want to have it interactive. So I want to have like screens and TVs and like it has to be hype and excited when you walk in here. Not just the obvious. Hey guys, buy a jacket. It needs to be like, why do I want to buy the jacket? What's exciting about it? You know what I mean? It's not about the jacket. It's the message behind it. You guys can pick that one up. That one's 150 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking. That's a prototype. Not for sale. Free. That one's free. So if I want to build a gas station in here, like a full gas station. Like, like a modern gas station? or like, like, a, like a modern gas station. You walk in and you're walking. Like you walk inside, but you're being outside of the gas station. So like stars on the roof, the pumps, a, a convenience store. You know, all the things you get at a gas station. This is the storefront. This yeah. whole wall. Yeah, I think so, you, you walk, walk in, through those doors. You have doors. a car here, right, with a pump here, and it's yes. like, like the way you approach a gas station. And that's the store bath that we can walk into. This can be your main focal point. Dude, that would be so cool. Yeah. Well, you know, just give me a ballpark for the video. I'll say hundred thousand dollars. Really? That's not bad. You guys write that down. He said hundred thousand dollars. No matter what I want, now it's a hundred grand. Okay, I want everything made out of real gold paneling. <laughs> About a hundred thousand dollar budget. That's actually not as bad as I thought it'd be. I thought I'd walk in and say a few hundred grand. You just f stuff on that price. <laughs> oh, the distractions have begun. Enough talk. Let's get some action component of the video. Old man needs S over here. What's your excuse? Is your dead? It don't work. I'm just doing what I do. Oh! Have you ever been in a drift car before? Uh, no, I have not. Want to try going in there with them? Absolutely. I'm going to try to get a discount on my bill. If he makes you pee, half price on the invoice, but the wrong hand to shake. If you pee in your pants, <laughs> half, half off. You got it. All right, guys. Half price Renos if he pees his pants. If he pees his pants, it's half price on the bill. It's a good deal. Oh, but he just went to the bathroom. So when he gets out, oh, that's not when fair. He wants to did you go to the bathroom? You want water? I had to go pee. Okay, here's the deal. When he gets out, he sprays across the water. Okay. All right, all right, good. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, buddy. Yeah, my brain can hurt. Have you ever been in a crazy car like this before? Never. We got an empty champion? Never. You have no idea what you're in for. We'll see. We'll see if it's all behind. Okay. The seatbelts don't work. Oh, he's nervous. It is nerve wracking. The truth is though, a professional driver is so smooth as not violent. It's scarier with an unexperienced driver for obvious reasons. Because it's jerky and messy. But Mike's like smooth like butter. He's smooth like his hands. He's as smooth as his butt cheeks when it comes to driving. Oh right, you guys, the block is about to get hot. I'm not sure if we showed you guys this, but the mural is all done and it looks perfect. And we have fans to cool us off. What do you think? Comment below, you like it?
tires down. Oh, we gotta Mike sweep. Essa does not quit. We gotta what, sweep what the lot again. Until the tires quit. <laughs> okay, spring the water in the clutch with that. Oh. Mark, you do it. Okay, I got it. You're scared to do it. Price <clears throat> just went up. Did it? Price just went up. Oh, oh he beat him down! <laughs> oh, Price went down! I love that. It's called him out. We're playing dirty hey, now. I love that for us. Was that fun or what? Yeah, it was. Was that crazy? Too bad. <laughs> God damn, I squirted. And you peed yourself. I squirted, I squirted. <laughs> it's different. Yeah, tires are done, uh, it's out of gas. Um, it's real slick up there. Yeah, real slick. I was like, yeah, I got this. Oh, no I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're always getting crazy over here. It's not going to get any mellower, that's for sure. It's only no. gonna get crazier. No, this is a reno vlog. This is a shop update vlog, right? Yep. All right guys, I need you to combo, I need your help. Do we do a gas station inside? Do we do a racetrack? Or if you have an idea I haven't thought of, comment below. We have not made a decision yet. JD is booked for about the next two weeks, so I want to pre-book him to come do that space. But I have no idea what to do. But I want it to be cool and be really interactive for you guys. So I'll leave that information, think about it, comment below. I'll read every comment as I normally do to find out the fate of the retail area. In the meantime, we have to in a hurry get that shop set up and start building the F12. It has to get done. In fact, I want to explain tires in this yard by the end of February. That's my goal. That's my deadline. Mike has no idea I just said that. Speaking of all this drift action, uh, my 599, I want to learn how to be one tenth driver as Tim. So I need you to build this car so I can do things like what you do. Can we do that? Yes. Um, it's going to cost some money though. Oh, actually? Yes. I mean, it's a Ferrari. This so whole yes. video sounds expensive now. <laughs> but what, what are the elements we need to do to this car so that I can enjoy this car on the block? Because this car now is built like, why do we have two five nines? I wonder yeah. what we can do. And the squadra is kind of funny, but you're just using the throttle and not, it's all wheel drive. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's not made for it. This thing, we could actually make it do what we want to do. So I would say like the basics are the handbrake, right? So we need Did to get you that. order one? Uh, we have to build a custom one for this thing. Oh, really? So since it has ABS and it's four wheel ABS, there are four separate brake lines, right? That go to each corner. Oh. And you can't tee them off and put an e-brake in between it or add, we could add extra calipers to it, mm -hmm. but that's just a lot of work and it's kind of unnecessary. Yeah. So to bypass that, we'll just use a pass through master cylinder, but we need two, like what we did in the 599. Got it. So one for each rear wheel. Uh, so the 550 and me. The 550. Yeah, yeah, yep. thanks Tim. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's one of the Ferraris. <laughs> Um, so we got to build that out and then find like a position for the masters and, and build the whole linkage system. Get so that dialed in. That will go obviously on that tunnel there. Are we going to get the interior? No. No, I think we leave it like that because it's nice in there. Yeah, I don't want to get the interior. Yeah, and then you can drive it around town. You yeah. can do whatever you want to do with it also. Take it on rallies, whatever else. But it'll be ready to slide and ready to throw down. So, so a handbrake and then... But the Dave, here's the question. It would be cool like if you use the stock one and then have it... You know, I, I did, I asked Damon about that and Damon was very set on the upright lever. He just, he likes that, you know. That's yeah. the question for you, Dave. I can't blame him. Do you like the pullback or a, I, be I a like real? Man. So here's the thing, I want to learn how to drive. <laughs> and what does an FD champion use? Well, I use the upright one. There are a lot of guys though, um, who are not champions that use the ones that still pull up. <laughs> There you have it. So the proper handbrake and then angle. Uh, yes, and we actually, uh, Sean and I were looking at. There's a there's a way we can modify these front knuckles. Really? Yep. Yep. We get okay. them dialed in. So handbrake angle. What else? Uh, and then the most important thing is it needs to go. So we need a clutch. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't driven this car yet on the block once. And Damon roasted the clutch. And that's okay, I'm gonna roast his. Damon's 599 is gonna be here in two days. Unfortunately, I won't be here. I have a manual conversion kit already here for Damon's car. And we have an exhaust being shipped. It'll be here in a few days for Damon's car. He needs suspension. Yep. But let's make sure we build my drift stuff for his. Actually, don't do his first because he'll beat up on this car. Do them both at the same time. It'll be All a build-off. Right. Well, we'll have to, so we'll have to tear this car apart because we need to take the transmission and everything out of it to get to the clutch, right? Because we're gonna have to get a custom clutch made. Um, buying a stock Ferrari clutch. Damon already bought a stock clutch for it. I hope he did it. He did, from EAG. He right. killed your power steering pump also. He did! <laughs> yeah, and that too. So, that yeah, my own. up, left, there you go. <laughs> so power steering pump's over here somewhere? Yeah, it's it's down here. So we've got the reservoir right here. Smell that? Clutch. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> It smells like fire. You guys, it clutch. literally smells like the, it clutch is the worst smell there is. It's not as bad as power string fluid. 
or I, I'm sorry, gear oil. Oh really? Gear, burnt gear oil, oh that's the worst. But yeah, so we gotta fix the power steering pump. We either buy a new 599 pump and then make a custom pulley yeah. so it's underdrive. Cause right now being at 9,000 RPM or whatever constantly and working the wheel back and forth <laughs> is sick. But the power <laughs> steering pump does not Could we do like an electric it. conversion on it or something? I think we might do that. Cause you did that on the F12, right? Yeah. Let's see it. Is it on right now? So obviously this being the crazy car it is, we thought ahead and you put a Porsche. Yeah, Porsche Motorsport electric power steering right there. Up. How much is that part? Um, new, I think they're about 12 or 1300 bucks. Let's do that then. Yeah, because that, that pump probably used is 1500 bucks. At least, yeah. and it's just gonna happen again. Yep. All right, well, lots of good updates in today's video. If you haven't already, support our sponsor, Rockform. Thank you and Rockform for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, we throw our phone all the time and the cops call we still have to answer because the phone still works.